Hello, everyone. A lot of things happen on this day in history, so, hey, let's get into it because we don't have time. We don't have time. There's a lot of shit to cover. So, on this day in history, May 11, 1858, Minnesota became the 32nd state in the United States. Minnesota is a great place for a state, you know? Lots of lakes, lots of you know, beautiful land, lots of mosquitoes. Oh, yeah. I don't think they knew about all the mosquitoes when they settled there. So it was too late. So they already filed their paperwork to become a state, and then they were like, we're getting eaten alive. It's too late. We already we already made you a state. They're like, fuck. Also, this day in history, May 11th, 1894, the Pullman strike began. The Pullman strike is a, was a labor dispute. Workers of the Pullman Palace Car Company in Chicago, they struck to protest protest wage cuts. All right, it wasn't happening. They were tired of, you know, getting pennies, man, for making vehicles for people to get to work where they made more money than the people who made the cars. What the fuck? But yeah, they were like, fuck that. So that on this day in history, the Pullman strike began. Also, this day in history, 1949, Siam changed its name to Thailand. And I have to say, it was probably a wise decision because Thailand is way more catchy than Siam. Siam, Thailand, I mean, it's a no-brainer, dude. I mean, it's good for merchandise and all that shit. So, yeah, shout out to Thailand. Good, good choice. Also, this day in history, 1973, charges against Daniel Ellsberg for his role in the Pentagon Papers case were dismissed. Were dismissed. Now, Pentagon Papers, you know, they was hiding some shit. Which they're always hiding some shit. I mean, let's face it. They're probably, you know, hiding some shit right now. But anyways, well, long story short, you know, they let this brother off because, you know, they realized they're full of shit. So, yeah, that happened on this day. Also this day in history, May 11, 1981, every little thing is going to be all right, but it wasn't, because on this day, Bob Marley died at the age of 36, so a moment of silence for fuck it, the greatest reggae artist of all time, I don't care what anybody says, don't at me, I mean, you can go Peter Tosh too probably, but I'm going to say Bob Marley. Also, this day in history, 1997, IBM's supercomputer, Deep Blue, defeated Gary Gary Kasparov, the reigning world champion in a six-game chess match. Or a six-game, yeah, six-game chess match. A computer beat a man in a chess match. I really don't really think that's all that, like, mind-blowing other than the fact, I mean, it's a fucking computer. It can, like, calculate all the moves and shit ahead of time. Any tells that he was given and he didn't know the computer maybe can pick up on that. I don't fucking know, but it's a goddamn computer. I, I couldn't read a computer in a lot of shit. I mean, I couldn't. But you know what? Computers don't have souls. So fuck computers. No, I don't fuck computers. Computers are pretty awesome, actually. Also, this day in history, 1998, India set off. India entered the nuclear age. India. Why? Why India? Did you not learn anything from us? From America? From Russia? Fuck it. Nuclear power sucks ass. Well, not nuclear power, but nuclear bombs? You don't need that shit. I mean, it's not like you got enemies. Well, Pakistan. But I mean, like, they don't have nuclear power. Oh, they do? Oh, well, welcome to the nuclear age, India. How'd that go? Is it, it's, it's working out. Because they haven't blown up yet, so I assume it's working out. Also, to stay in history in 2003, 91% of Lithuanian voters opted to join the European Union. 91%. They were smart. They joined that European Union. I mean, that's, it's a good thing, man. It's a good thing. You got price uniformity. You got, um, you got trade uniformity. Um, it's a good thing. Everyone, everyone, right? Britain, Britain, it's a good, a good like, what? You guys are leaving? Brexit? What the f- Why? Man, y'all some shit, Britain. Lithuania? 
They know what's up. Last but not least on this day in history. On this day in history, May 11, 1960, Israel agents captured Nazi Adolf Eichmann. He was hiding out in Argentina. And Adolf Eichmann, he was a fucking monster. A monster. I mean, he was just a monster amongst monsters because the whole not that whole Nazi party were a bunch of monsters. But this guy, he decided to go on vacation in Argentina. Thought no one would catch up to him. And then they knocked on the store and they were like, hey, what's up? We didn't forget what you did, dog. And he was like, all right. They put that man on trial. They executed that man, deservingly so. He, he fucking lasted that long until 1960. Well, anyways, on this day in history, they captured him and justice was served. That wraps up this day in history. If you enjoyed that, if you got any knowledge, and hey, I encourage you to look into any of those topics that I uh, just went over real quick, briefly, because um, history, history is important. But if you enjoyed that, like, subscribe, share, do all that shit. You know, the spiel that every YouTuber does. You know, every YouTuber does that shit. Like, subscribe, smash the like button, blah, 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 blah. But anyways, that's what happened on this day in history. Peace.